And then I gotta try and get back on a normal sleep schedule. It's yeah. Been too many, too many late nights partying, man. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I did myself a disservice this weekend. Um, stayed up until like five Thursday night, and then slept until Why? like two p.m. on Friday. Whoa! In your cave? Sunlight uh, no. would have woken me up. Oh no! I I learned to sleep through the sun coming up a long time ago. Um, my, Dude, my, that's crazy. My bedroom is actually quite bright. Um, it's Whoa. got a bunch of weirdly placed windows that I haven't been able to effectively get curtains for. So, but no mirrors on the ceiling. No, um, the the ceiling is sloped, so that would be weird. Be like a funhouse mirror. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get this thing started. I have a feeling it's going to be another one of those nights. All right. Hello, and welcome back to episode 39 of Breath of the Wild. I'm Vic. I'm here with Tyson. And you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. Yes. Let's do this. All right. So I figure we can pick up a couple of easy shrines by hitting up the cities. So we'll start with the Gorons, and then we'll head over to the Zoras. Oh man, there's going to be a lot of storyline here. Well, we don't have to go and talk to the... Well, um, I guess I don't remember the Goron city having to go and talk to the to the bigwigs. Um, I think I think yeah, we there's might like have... a there's like a fetch quest. Well, there's a bunch of stuff going on that we can do in Goron Town. You have to go. You have to go like find people that are missing and stuff. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> This is the road. And... Oh, and your butt's on fire. Yep. Good thing I got these. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a friend. Mm hmm Ooh. I don't think he wants his legs. <laughs> I want his legs. Oh, Thunder Goose. There we go. Nice. Come on. No. <laughs> there we go. He's very uh, squiggly. He's. These uh, guys uh -oh. are squiggly. Oh, he lost a foot. He's gonna slide off the mountain. Get away from me. Yeah, push him back up. There you go. Come on. There you go. Oh, no. He's getting away. <laughs> no. No. Bye. Did he die? Uh, he might from the fall damage. <laughs> oh, there's another one. His friend is down there like, uh, what? Oh, he didn't die. Oh, he's okay. I don't care. I got stuff to do. All right. <laughs> and those guys hardly ever drop cores anyway, so... Oh, really? Yeah. Is there a way to increase those odds or no? So that's why I'm so excited about learning that the uh, combat shrines respawn. Because uh, the... Uh, whatever you call the, the difficult combat shrines. Yeah. Um, they have a really high chance of dropping cores, so they're the major, they're the best the for farming tests. that stuff. Yeah, major test. That's right. All right. Well, we don't need our uh, crazy outfit anymore. So, lizard. Where? Oh, right there. I thought I was looking for a Lizalfos. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. It was really well hidden. <laughs> yeah. Well, they do have that camouflage. 
this pantsless thunder goose. And... Why are you calling me a thunder goose? That's what those ostriches are. Oh. I thought you were talking about me. Could be. Are you pantsless? Yeah. Am I going wow, the wrong there way? is a lot going on in here. There is this way is the too many things in here. This is the wrong way. I need to be going this way. If you want to plus up on your fire stuff, this is the place to do it. Yeah. Who needs wow. to do that, though? Oh, nice. What's in there? Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Not stuff I want. <laughs> Oh, you know what I should have done before this? Is I should have gone and picked up another stamina wheel slot. Ah, oh, you're alright. Yeah. There he is, just hanging out. Bye. <laughs> Too bad you can't ride. Wait, can you ride those? I don't <gasps> think so. Those? Can you ride the moose? I also don't think so. Missed opportunities. Right? So the devs put in like 500 what? hours on these games. Uh huh. You'd think. You'd think they'd come up with some more stuff like that. Because well, I feel like I'm, that's some low hanging fruit. I'm sure they were just like. We've already put in you all kinds just of get crazy to a stuff. Point. So fast. That's why I like to take the legs out. Come on. Crunch. There we go. And. Done. No! Hurry up, blah, 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 blah. Go, 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 go. Oh, wow. No cores. That is that is freaking stressful. Because <laughs> it's all like rolling down the hill. Yeah. All right. Back on mission. Ooh. I'm glad I made some good potions for the fireproof. Uh, I know. What prompted you to do that? Well, I mean, I knew I was going to need one or two anyway, but I also she just realized. Made a bunch. Yeah. Well, the other thing is, I realized that we have a tendency to get quite distracted. So. Oh, this is a fire. This one, this one blows fire at you, doesn't it? Or, or he would have if he didn't die. Yeah. Why give him a chance? I mean, it's not like I've got Whoa. a enemy skill materia or something. Whoa. Whoa, that is a deep, deep reach. I tried to make an FF7 remake reference, but I can't honestly think of any. Uh, we'll just talk about trash. Ooh, hot take. I I'm so pissed that they didn't just put new graphics on the old game. I mean, all they had to do. Dude, it's a whole it's a whole new game. All they had to do was update the graphics and maybe add in some of the content from the Japanese release that never made it into the American version, and yeah. I would have been all over that shit. I wouldn't have even right. cared about the episodic release. Nope. It's, it's a whole new game that's like, it feels like FF15. Ooh, what a terrible way to go. I mean, at least it's quick, right? Damn. I guess. Now we're on the Wait, right I think it told you you were near a shrine, though, weren't you? Maybe. Or was that a shrine that was that you 
No, oh, yeah, you're definitely near a shrine. You're definitely now gonna have some fun with a, a melty boy. This is the one fun. that I like the least. Yeah, because he burns you. Wait, is he just gonna ignore you? Well, oh, no, he's not. Do you have a stone smasher? I do. Can I climb on him because Those... I've got flame guard? Uh, ooh, try Let's it. Let's try Screw it. it. Yeah, I got nine fairies. Let's do this. Whatever. Ouch. It's all right. Yeah, come here. I cannot climb on him. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, he's... <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say they don't really give you good drops either. Yeah, I mean you gotta kill him for the metal if you care about the metal. So you're gonna in the stone in the sword trials you're gonna have to fight a fire and an ice one at some point. Oh, I forgot that I wasn't wearing the thing. Yeah, well, and I've done it before. Like I know it can yeah, be done. Yeah, you just get on there and then just. And then just spin and wail on them. And then just look for the clues where they're going to pop back up. And they start shaking. Well, and if we weren't on Death Mountain, I could have shot bomb arrows at his little critical point. Yeah, I just use, uh, I just use the bomb um, ruin. Man, there are little fire lizards everywhere here. Look yep. at that. They're all You're just lousy the with them. How many do you have? A uh, bunch. Dang. That one, you just, that one just like ran over your feet. Yep, let that one get right away. Uh, He's going to Terrytown. Oh, yeah, look, here's a little friend. Go to Terrytown. No. We gotta, gotta get we the did... quest to recruit him. Can't do that right now. Oh. Oh. I thought you already had that quest. I don't think so. Uh. Oh, I need some fireproof lizards. Guess what? If you give me ten, I'll give you my hat. Mm -hmm. uh. Done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here. Just like mushed up. You just like <laughs> mushed up a ball of lizard and you're like... Here, here's my here's my lizards. Yep. Ah. Yeah, screw that. I got what I wanted. Oh from yeah, you. you can sell them. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Cool. So now I only need to get two more pieces of armor. And then you'll have the little miner set, the little fire miner. Yep. I really like this rendition of Death Mountain. Oh, well, yeah. Way better than previous games. The one in Ocarina was so frustrating. Uh, because of the part where you've got to hunker down under the shield? No, I didn't mind that. I mean, the actual Goron City part. Uh, what what just was like... frustrating about that? There's just, just like, nonsense. It's just, it was like a Kiva, you know, with, like, the three or four levels or whatever, and, like, no directions on where to go for anything. <laughs> I mean, I remember when I was a kid playing that, I got so frustrated that I started doing the wall tracing method just to find where the heck I was supposed to go. Well, I guess, I guess all of the cities and stuff were like that in Ocarina, right? I don't know. Goron 2 is just so foreign. Oh, here's your ducking behind the shield thing. Yeah, but I don't have a shield I can duck under. Yep. Because I'm not a child. Yeah. Otherwise, I could just boop under that shield I got on my back. I know. You gotta go get your, your helium shield. Oh. Surprised you have we haven't done that yet. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm a lizard. Oh, 
He's like, my feet hurt. I'm so angry. I think he's the coolest of the divine beasts. Well, the camel was such a weird choice. It's so random. The oh. big, doofy camel. Why do you think it's random? I don't know. Just camels have never been in a Zelda game before. Well, what about elephants? I'm sure there's been one. I don't think so. Also weird. They should have done an alpaca. And yeah, a which, which Zelda? Which Zelda was the alpaca in? <laughs> I don't know. Alpacas are a cousin of the of the camel, though. <laughs> okay. And besides, the camel in this game doesn't even do the thing that camels do in real life. What spit at you? Where they puke? Well, no. Not, I, I don't know if that one spits at you, but they take their whole like esophagus and it comes out of their mouth like a bubble. Blah. They do that? And they let it air out. Yeah, they let it air out to cool off and then they suck it back in. Well, that's pretty weird. I didn't know they do that. I didn't know they did that either until I saw it in stupid Egypt. <laughs> I was like, that's... I was like, there's something wrong with this, this like, Silent Hill-esque creature. <laughs> That's the place I was looking for. Yeah, I think it's its whole esophagus and stomach. Yep, stomach out of mouth. Wow. Here we go. I'm going to send you a video from dailymotion.com. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 I should have watched that. <laughs> Why'd you let me watch that? Why did I let you? Oh, it's so bad. It's so gnarly. Damn. That's gross. Here we go. I'm going to share it with you. I mean, you know I'm not going to watch it right now. It's okay. I can sleep at night knowing that I've sent this to you now to share. Uh, you're not going to have any trouble put that, sleeping tonight. They should have put that in this game, though, for sure. Yeah, it sounds like the sort of thing that you normally put in uh, Zelda games. Well, I mean, have you played Majora's Mask? Yeah, I don't recall anything puking out its own guts. Yeah, well, there's all kinds of weird stuff. In Ocarina, there's that nasty... Um, that nasty thing that has the arms coming out of the ground... Oh, yeah, the dead hand. Dead hand. Screw dead, that thing. Well, that and dead hand creepy. is widely recognized as the weirdest, creepiest thing in a Zelda. Creepier than the moon? Yeah. The moon is pretty terrible. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> easy. So easy. Can I just... the, is it going to burn the other part? <gasps> Ooh, Stone Smasher. Nice. I think I have three of those now. Ooh. Oh, that guy has a, a little butter knife for you to play with. Yeah. Here's a Master Sword. <laughs> Sweet. Do I have room for that? No, I don't. Dang. Crunch. And done. I really love that I've had all these arrows to play with. I've gotten pretty good at the bow. Oh, yeah. I mean, got to. That's, like, fundamental for this game. Where 
Where's the key? Oh, man, you need a key. Push a switch. Yeah. Over here. Didn't, <laughs> I it, didn't think it was gonna do it for a second. It didn't. It didn't it's play like, the noise. A uh, little bit oh, of a there delay there. Yeah. Just looks at the door and then it goes back to you and you're like, womp womp. <laughs> So the other day, I went into the office all excited, um, because, uh, because a new world record had been beaten, Cosmic's record had been beaten for OG Mario. Okay. And, like, a new second barrier had been established, so like it went under, like, a major second mark. It's now, like, in the whatever... 54 second range for the seconds of it. Uh -huh. And I was just like spouting off about it to random people. Wait, wait. wait. And wait. no one had a clue what I was talking about. <laughs> like, not, I'm not, I get it. Like, not like it's not like world breaking, you know, news or anything. But that speed running even existed. <laughs> they were like, people do that for a living? It's like, well, no, I'm sure they have a day job, but they do it as a hobby. Well, no, there are there are actually people that do that stuff for a living. Yeah, I didn't say that. I didn't want to. Oh, you didn't funny. want to take it that far, huh? Oh, that guy's kind of chilling. Yep. See that? He was levitating he's a little like, bracelet, though. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm kind of over this sitting cross-legged thing. He's only been doing it for 10,000 years. Crisscross applesauce. So, do you remember the name of the... Uh... Of what we used to call it? Yes. Of the owl from Ocarina? Um, Hocus Pocus? No. That's something goofy like that, though. Uh, well, with more syllables, but yeah, I guess. Yeah, something weird. Why? I think that he has the same name as Zelda's father in Skyward Sword. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, and that might actually make sense because he's supposed to be the reincarnation of the sage that built the Temple oh. of Time. Cool. So it yeah, might what actually the hell is his name? Kapora Gabora. Yeah, Kapora Gabora. There you go. Well, there you go. That ties that together. Yeah. I thought that was neat. That's pretty neat. Spoiler owl. <laughs> he literally, like, anytime you go anywhere, he's like, okay, this is what's coming next. Mm -hmm. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> it's like, what? I wish there was an outfit that gave me more uh, paraglider stamina. Or missiles. Paraglider missiles. Paraglider missiles would be cool. Instead of dropping bombs. Jeez. These people. Yeah. Dang. That was a pretty Dang. hot LZ. We call that... The LZ was not ice, it was cherry. Hey. <gasps> Is his name it, Sidon or Sidon? I don't know. He never said it for me. Sorry for calling you out of the river. Since I pressured you to come here. <laughs> 30 days ago. <laughs> I've been swimming around here, abdicating my responsibility to my domain. Mm -hmm. Watching you get stronger. 
Oh, that's annoying. When you what? get another piece of equipment and it like pushes your stuff to a new screen and it's split between the two screens. Yes. And the climbing gear has been like that for ages. Ah, oh, that's the worst. <laughs> it is. It is pretty annoying. And it's not even splitting it where I want to split it, right? I mean, if, right. The, if the yeah. bandana and yeah, the like shirt still... were on one page, then that would be okay. Yeah. Right. Well, hello, friend. Oh, goodbye, friend. Oh, man. Dang, he had ten arrows. He sure did. Now they're this my ten arrows. Get. Yeah, go the low route. I think there's something down there for you that's kind of good. And, oh. Yeah, go down there anyway. Crawl through that. Mm hmm That's a thing that I'm going to do. Here we go. That's weird. Oh, go back. And use a bomb. Right there. Is there a bombable thing right in front of you? No. Right there, right right to your right? This? Yeah, that. It's no? just a rock. Oh. oh, I thought maybe there was like a... Ooh, hello. I thought maybe there was like a, um, a Korok rock hidden under it. Dang, sniper. That is cheap. <laughs> That's why Where'd I carry you that, that bow. bow? I, uh, that I found in Gerudo Town. Oh, that's right, that's right. Not an amiibo. Right. Well, what, they just all have horns now? Yep. Oh, snap. All right. Y'all want to play? That was really close. That was close. <laughs> That was really, really close. That was too close. There's a ground. There's a little groundling there. Yep. See, this would be a my, good time to have the kids. Direct suit. attack. Yeah. Yeah. Eat that. Punk. Oh. Gotta stay away from the puddles. Is there another? Oh, damn. There's just a whole bunch of them. Yeah, this is a friggin' gauntlet. I remember I had a real bad time with this the first time I came through here. Did they do this so you'd have shock arrows stocked up for uh, the um, for the Divine Beast, you think? No, I think they just... Um, to some extent, they do it in every region, I think. Done. Done. It pays to have the right gear. Yeah. Cora? Nope. Arrow? Too plain. Too plain. Yeah, I'm always hopeful, though. All right. Thank you, camera. Whoa. A little awkward. Yeah. All right, and here we go. Thank you. Yeah, it's a little bit rough for a. Uh first divine beast mission if you were just playing straight through right I need some of these nice oh Yay. you need it for um you need it for your upgrades for the pants yeah yeah oh thanks Sidon for helping mm -hmm. you're so good Oh, sorry for calling so far away. I didn't want to get shocked. <laughs> right. 
In the meantime, I'll be cheering you on. You can do it. Freaking virgin, virgin <laughs> signing over here. Chad Link. Jer He's the Jerry Smith of this game. I know everyone loves him, but I, I'm not a fan. Uh, Jerry Smith isn't nearly as charismatic as him. I have to agree with that. Yeah. But, I mean, just that exchange right there. He was just like, I'll be cheering you on. Good luck. Bye. I can yeah. carry you on my back so that we can take down a divine beast, but to get you to my home place, I'm just going to make you walk it off. Well, but he doesn't know us that well yet. Yeah, that's right. You haven't gone through the empty nugs portion of the, the storyline. Exactly. His nugs are still <laughs> full. <laughs> what are those guys doing? I don't oh, know what yeah, they're doing, but I know what they're about to be doing. What? It's raining. Oh, I thought with the ra yeah, I thought with the rain it'd make a halo. Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> What is that guy doing? <laughs> He's just like running up on you. They're trying to give me the tongue. That's really, that's really weird. Yeah. He's just going like. <laughs> you just keep looking that way. Fine. Dirty. Good job. Good job, little friend. All right. And another one. Uh oh. <laughs> Never mind. Might as well eat all that roasted bass. Nah. I got Picking I got some roasted food, I space. think. See? There. Mmm, yummy. <gasps> there he is. Almost halfway. Man, we're out of time. Are we really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was wondering how the timer was looking. They're halfway there. Thanks, Sidon. Okay, well, I guess that's it for episode 39 of Breath of the Wild. Come back and see us again next time for the rest of the way to the Fun in the sword sun. Domain. And your camera literally just crashed with you making a silly face. That's so awesome. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> yeah. Did you see it or no? I did see it. I was like, okay. well, so much for that. Yep. Well, I guess it's a good thing that we run out of time since our technology is betraying us. So, <laughs> talk to you soon. See ya. Well, I, I hope she's enjoying the stripper. Ha! <laughs>